very good morning anita there is ready nitin piyush jain and uh, satya shubani shaikh sayed uh, vijay narain and rais uh, consulting Fine. very good morning guys uh, uh, yeah good morning yes very good morning fine so let me introduce myself uh, i am chandra i am here for oracle fusion uh, hcm training oracle fusion hcm training both uh, technical and as well as the functional both we are going to talk about uh, next year and 45 hours uh, we are going to discuss yes uh, during this uh, class if you have any doubts uh, please enter in chat window so that uh, i can read your uh, doubts and i can uh, immediately explain and give the clarity okay and still if the doubt is not clear we can come on to the speaker and we can speak about it okay so that's the thing and uh, uh, this is from rtl technologies rtl technologies is basically uh, training providers last uh, 12 years and uh, we are into fusion applications last three and a half years so we are basically from oracle ebs technical then now oracle fusion hcm techno functional when i say techno functional it's going to be 100 percent functional and uh, as well as 100 percent technical and we recently started as an uh, RPA, Robotic Processing Automation. And which is basically uh, automation tool, automation anywhere and blue prism and uh, UI path. And we are going to start a blockchain as one of the it's going to be one of the leading technology distributed uh, ledger technology that okay so now we are here now we are here so the training whatever i'm going to give you uh, every video file will be shared so you don't need to worry about across your gmail id will share it and for every batch there will be one whatsapp group will be created so that uh, uh, during the practice, like once the session is over, you will be practicing at your home. So when you are getting, uh, when you are doing the practice, if you get any doubts uh, in, in the WhatsApp group, you can post it. I'll be also in the group so that I can reply. So the moment when you get any doubt, you don't need to worry about it. Immediately I can respond. You don't need to wait till the tomorrow session. That and the complete soft copy will provide you documentation part will provide you the soft copy and uh, if you are having any uh, like most of the people uh, in online uh, uh, working people will be joining most of the people so during the session in case if you were got some time timelines problem or you got some struck up in your project a heavy hectic schedule you can easily postpone to the next batch it's not a problem this is a one year valid whatever the fees you have paid whatever the fees you have paid for example around 45 hours you attended only 20 hours after some time what happened you got some struck up in your project don't worry please intimate to us saying that I'm not going to come for this patch due to this reason, we'll continue in the next patch like that. So that, that support obviously will provide because some people will be working in shift timings or project stick schedule or something. So due to these all issues, we'll be going for giving the support to one year for the people. If you are looking for a placement assistance, we are ready to give the placement also. So some people wanted to have some placement and all. So we are ready to give that and there will be a charge for that also. So that and all you have to discuss over the phone. Nine double eight five four eight nine zero six two is the number, contact number, Mr. Narish, who is going to take care of all our sessions, timings. 
and file sharing whatever the files uh, is going to share and any placements and uh, other information except subject subject i'll be taking care of it it is okay so that's a quick introduction about our company what we are going to do it and what we are doing now it is so in our website you can like our facebook page also we'll be keep on updating with the latest versions okay fine so it's demo sessions today and tomorrow and friday this it's not actually i don't call it as a demo session it's in a starting classes which we are going to discuss and this three days and uh, saturday and sunday absolutely we don't find a session now uh, it's only weekdays monday to friday uh, it's purely for practice purpose you can utilize the saturday and sunday for preparations and all and uh, then as usual monday to friday we are going to talk about it okay so and when we talk about fission hcm this is a new fission batch we are going to start yesterday only the last batch is completed so keep it here every document whatever we are discussing it's going to be shared so don't worry so give me one minute time so i'll be back and i'll start up thank you and back this so uh, okay something we are yes so i hope most of the people might be knowing what is erp application enterprise uh, satya it will be around 3 3 demonstrations yeah it's not like demonstrations it's a continuous classes we are going to talk about it yes fine so most of the people might be knowing what exactly the erp erp stands for enterprise resource planning 
enterprise resource planning so erp is one of the application erp is one of the application or product it is a product or it's a software we can call it as a software also so erp is one of the business application which can be installed by the enterprises to maintain their business transactions to maintain their business transactions day to day transactions their sales their purchases their invoices their uh, employees data their salaries uh, this all information they wanted to maintain in a single application then they can go for implement erp software erp application so if we look at these all our enterprises like big enterprises very big enterprises i have written here g like reliance aravindo heritage big bazaar like banking domain telecom domain so almost all the domains uh, like uh, automobile industry like this retail industry so this all clients are uh, required to maintain their complete business transactions like their sales their customers employees data their assets information day to day business then they can go for implement any erp application there are uh, multiple erps in the market now uh, in the it industry there are number of erp applications are available so what the client can do is he can buy the erp application and install in a server and he can go for customize the product and he can utilize according to their requirement according according to their requirement they can go for utilize the application so what are the erps leading erps we have in uh, market right now worldwide if we talk about worldwide erps like sap and oracle oracle business and people soft jd edwards cbel microsoft dynamics workday salesforce okay so like this there are number of erps which are available in the market okay now those all are uh, available if we look at sap it's there from 1996 it's almost 20 years even oracle also oracle e business ebs or oracle applications okay and i have written these three erps in the red color people soft jd edwards and cbel because these three erps are merged with oracle in 2009 in 2009 and 10 around that time so we don't have any people soft product directly now now oracle is going to give the support for them who are using this three products okay so now oracle has got around four erps right now in the hand right now in the hand so people soft jd edwards and cbel it's we can say it's a closed uh, chapter for the erps this three and microsoft also has entered into the erp market where we have microsoft dynamics is an erp introduced in 2006 but somehow uh, microsoft was not able to get a success in the erp sector erp sector due to multiple reasons as sap and oracle has got already strong foundation in the erp has got very good clients from 96 so somewhere they were not able to uh, gather the space in the erp then uh, 2012 we got uh, workday and salesforce other erps into the market but these two are basically cloud erps we know that uh, now the cloud is leading the entire it industry okay cloud environment it's going to lead now workday and salesforce uh, both are cloud erps are introduced very good market for workday and uh, salesforce also they got very good market but those are okay for small and medium sector uh, clients not for big clients and workday is basically good at uh, hr salesforce is very good at uh, crm point of view when we talk about any erp mainly four domains we'll see finance supply chain management customer relationship management hrms we call it as now hcm now we are calling it as a hcm human capital management okay so 
workday is strong in one area and not much in other areas like finance or supply or crm they are good at hcm salesforce is good at crm okay fine we'll talk about what is cloud erp and what other now what we have discussed we just discussed about erp definition enterprise resource planning it's a product or application or it is a software uh, enterprise clients are going to install this product to maintain their business transactions in in, a, in the market like there are number of erps available uh, right from 1999 it's like almost 20 years of uh, history for the erp applications it's a, we will find some other domains not only i have written here only finance supply and crm like we have transportation management but these are very less transport management is there project management is there warehouse management is there material management is there like this there are number of uh, other things but uh, everyone will talk about finance supply chain management crm and hrms because this is a huge market every client is required finance so what is financial models whenever any client is doing a business business in the sense obviously there will be a commercial amount payment amount receivings so whatever amounts i am going to pay to the suppliers and whatever amounts i am getting it from the customers i have to maintain that track right let's say today i am receiving some 2000 checks from my customers uh, in in 20 branches i have 20 branches in each branch i am receiving 100 uh, uh, checks every day 2000 checks that's a uh, receivables from my customers some people have sent through the check, some people have sent through credit card payments and somebody has set online, somebody has done the cash payment like this. Uh, to maintain this complete financial transactions in my business, I'll go with uh, financials modules. Okay, so that's how it's going to uh, work. Supply chain management is basically sales, purchase and inventory, day-to-day -day sale transactions, sales order, shipping, religious the material and this all and also procurement comes crm customer relationship management once we sell the product to the customer we should maintain the relation with the customer right so it comes under crm this is what our hcm human capital management here we are going to talk about this like uh, uh, when we have some thousands of employees for a client how you are going to manage all these employees and who is the manager and who is the uh, reportee and uh, who is going to approve it and what about the salaries and about leaves of their absences and i wanted to set some goals to the employees and i want to monitor what is the goal status i wanted to check the employee performance and employee bonuses this all i wanted to maintain for my thousands of employees right so then the hcm comes into the picture fusion we'll talk about now when oracle is having four erps in the hand why they have developed another erp called oracle fusion applications so oracle fusion applications is another erp like this whatever the erps we have same way oracle fusion applications also new erp introduced by oracle company Oracle company has introduced this new ERP in 2011. In 2011, they have introduced this vision applications. But in the initial religious, in the initial religious, uh, they haven't get good success from the uh, application. It was it was failed in the initial stage. It was failed. And last year, like when we talk about uh, 2016, in 2016, we got very good feedback from the client for this version called release 11. Release 12, now the latest version, release 13. This. So now we are here, we are going to get a training on release 11 as well as on release 12. Sometimes we'll be talking about release 12 and we'll see that also release 12 release 13 is for future still uh, it's under process maybe by december they will give it uh, releases okay 
so that's talk about religious even if we are going to prepare a resume also we'll be mentioning release 10 and 11 and 12 these three versions we can specify in our resume so far we are putting only release 11 but now we can introduce release 12 also okay fine so one uh, basic doubt we can get it when oracle has got already four erps and they have got very good ERP Oracle applications from 1996. It means more than 20 years. They are already using one product, having thousands of clients across the world. Then why Oracle has designed one more ERP right from the scratch? And then why they have released this product into the market? So what is the main reason behind this? So why they have designed this? There are strong four reasons. If we look out this particular one, so let's not talk about now Fusion or SAP or Oracle applications. If we talk about uh, the ERP evaluation, like from on-premises ERP 1.0 to modern cloud ERP 2.0. What is mean by on-premises and what is mean by cloud? It's very simple. If client is going to buy a server, and install the software on their own server, we call it as on-premises. For example, Big Bazaar company is there. They wanted to maintain their own server, their own DBS, their own server room. This is all they wanted to maintain. 24 by 7, they wanted to monitor with their employees. That's called on-premises. That's called on-premises. So far, last 20 years, the traditional ERP implementations happened with on-premises environment only, complete on-premises. Recently, if we talk about last five years, from 2012 onwards, most of the people has talked about the cloud environment. Most of the people has talked about and few people are even migrating to the cloud environment. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to explain. So the back office evaluation from yesterday's mainframe servers to today's cloud. So how the things are changing in IT, that's what we are talking. If we look at in 1960s, in 1960s, we used to have mainframes computing. Mainframes computing, that time we used to have inventory control packages. We used to have a small package to maintain our inventory data. Then in 1970s, we got mid-range computing, uh, MRP, material requirement planning. Uh, there we got mid-range computing. Then when we enter into the 1980s, manufacturing requirement planning MRP2 version has released. In 1980s, we got client-server computing. So uh, client and server architecture has introduced. Then ERP 1.0, actual ERP started in 1990s. So that's, uh, that's a starting point for ERP applications with extensive customizations of business process. In the initial stage, uh, there was huge customization requirement was there for ERP applications. Okay, so that was in 1990s. We can say internet computing has started. Then in 2000s, like 2012, 13, 2004, 5, like this, we'll see SOA, service oriented architecture, has introduced. Yes. And then ERP 2.0 now the cloud this is important now you can see that 2010s cloud has introduced mobile social sites integration analytics now your erp splits of functions like hcm supply chain management like this and offers infrastructure for cloud solutions to coexistence so whatever the erps we are discussing here these ERPs are not much compatible for cloud. These two are okay. These two are purely cloud-based, which are introduced in 2012. And But if we talk about the old ERPs, which we have more than 10 years of experience in ERP market, doesn't have 100% cloud support. And this doesn't compatible for mobility. For example, I want to access this my ERP application from my smartphones or from my tab piece. So I cannot, I'm not able to get it from my mobility. And I would like to integrate with the social sites because now everything is going for uh, 
uh, everything is going connecting with the social sites like uh, whatever business we are doing so we don't have the compatibility between our erp as well as with the uh, social sites and then analytics okay so analytics is basically required now we know that uh, so far analysis is there like uh, we have a data last one month or three months or last six months i wanted to uh, know what happened last week what is the profit and loss and what are the sales this all but when it comes to the analytics point of view for example one erp your client is using one erp your client is using uh, for around 8 to 10 years and huge data whatever the transactions they have done use data is there i want to perform analytics on that and uh, uh, take a best business decisions on this so we don't have any erp in that we don't have any of erp that so that's the reason oracle has designed one new erp called oracle fusion applications which is compatible for cloud environment as well as on premises and which is compatible for all three devices you can access from desktop and uh, tap pc and smartphones complete 100% complete application you can access from mobility and you can easily integrate with social application social sites integrations and also apply it with analytics analytics embedded analytics is very important for the business nowadays you might be having the huge data but if you are not going to apply the analytics on the data then there is no use of the data i have uh, last 6 7 years of uh, huge data i have but i am not going to uh, put this data in a proper manner and uh, then obviously there is no use of that data there you have to apply your analytics and identify what happened and what is happening and what's going to happen predictions we call it as a predictive analytics these are very important nowadays when we have huge data and transactions day to day okay so that's that's a reason oracle has uh, developed the new erp application fusion and this fusion applications is 100% web based it will be like this it's purely 100% web based we can say a complete application can be accessible from the desktop or tap pc and mobile and then when we talk about 100% it is a cloud and on premises support so if client wanted to go for cloud and on premises he can go ahead i will explain you now what is the advantage and disadvantage with the cloud and on premises we'll talk about it okay then when we talk about uh, the next one when we talk about uh, this is like how the information can be gathered it's very user friendly uh, this is web 2.0 as used web 2.0 like facebook is using the web 2.0 the front end interaction with the user same way this is going to happen okay and now i wanted to know who is the manager for this current uh, employee now you can i can easily navigate it it's it's completely oracle cloud so whatever the software i'm going to access here i'm going to directly connect with oracle cloud so oracle is not going to give this uh, software to the outside uh, we must be a training partner so that we can get access from oracle and uh, then now i can see that i can see who is the manager for this person here and uh, this manager information everything i can see what is in options what is the compensation and then personal and vacancy rules this all everything i can find in one single shot so we don't require much navigations over here it is okay it's very user friendly okay and as i told three devices you can access and this is very important earlier when we talk about reports it was only bi publisher or xml publisher now we we can see that oba analytics otba reports and dashboards these all are going to be here now i can show you that it's an integrated bi the moment when you have an erp application you can go for reports and analytics earlier it was only reports to take any erp like oracle erps earlier we used to have only reports now it's going to be analytics also
when we want to go for build an mba reports or otba or any other reports then we are going to talk about this here that seems uh, network is very slow uh, due to rain or some other issue fine okay and then uh, we can easily build the analytics here and otba reports and dashboards also can be built and we can easily integrate with social sites and uh, the big data projects can be executed in fusion so what is basically big data project if client is using the erp application more than 5 6 years obviously there will be a huge store of the data that i wanted to store in the server and i wanted to process the data and i wanted to visualize when i say process you need to write a program or algorithm and get the data i mean get the information okay insights we call it as an insights that we wanted to visualize to the client according to the requirement okay so visualization has to happen in the graphs right so if i have five pages of print out the client can understand but if i have 100 pages of output it's a difficult for him go through all 100 pages or 1000 pages instead of that he wanted to see in the graphs so that time it will be very help now we can see that very good business intelligence integration okay if we are going to build a new report our analysis and uh, we can build and we can build a new mobile app also from here itself okay so here itself we can go for building a new mobile applications and everything can be done okay. find th this the major advantage is like uh, most of the people uh, they might be working with other erps like if you are from oracle erp background you may find that when oracle is having four erps in the hand then why again they developed one more erp and released into the market as i told uh, in the erp evaluation this is what the clients are expecting now nowadays uh, they are saying that whatever the applications they are using they wanted to make sure that that application is compatible for cloud that application compatible for mobility and for social sites and for analytics that's what they are looking out okay so there the things comes into the picture okay not a problem you got some error it's not an issue okay so that's the reason oracle has uh, developed another erp okay fine so any doubts here please let me know we can talk about here so any doubt about erp different erps and why the oracle has uh, introduced uh, <clears throat> a new erp and what about the market for this hcm next we are going to talk about cloud erp and on premises erp what exactly this is okay yes tell yeah uh, what about the fusion hcm from technical background yes uh, satya you are working as a technical right right now yeah okay you are working as a technical in oracle ebs and uh, you have a doubt like what exactly my role in fusion applications is it yeah. yes fine satya like this like i'll tell you uh, most of the people are uh, thinking that uh, like uh, especially from ebs background and other environment we don't have the option for technical guys in uh, fusion applications but that is 100% wrong uh, in fusion applications there is a lot of scope for uh, technical but what the clients are expecting is uh, they don't want to restrict in a consultant for a technical only the person must be knowing the functional also because now the cloud projects i'll tell you how it is happening after this you will you will be knowing cl very clearly this okay 
So once this concept is over, you will be more clear, Satya. Let me go ahead with this topic. So, so we might be having some uh, confusion like uh, what is Fission applications and what is Fission cloud applications and what is Fission HCM. Okay. So when we say Fission applications, Oracle Fission applications is one of the ERP. It is one of the ERP application where we got Oracle Fission financials as a financial domain and we got Oracle Fission HCM it's an HCM domain. We got Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management. It's a domain. And we got Oracle Fusion uh, PPM, Project Portfolio Management. Like this, we have different domains. Okay. So there are number of like this. We'll find number of this. So the major is that this is ERP and these all are the parts in our uh, Fusion applications. Okay. So if the client is going to buy this software from Oracle company and install in their own server, we call it as an on-premises environment. And what Oracle says, if you say you don't have a server and you want to continue with our cloud environment, so then we call it as a Fission applications, Oracle Fission cloud. Okay. So uh, here cloud is nothing but I don't want to invest the time and money on the my own server okay so instead of that i wanted to go for uh, oracle cloud option then they can go with the cloud so cloud is an environment okay cloud is an environment as a developer as a consultant whether it is a functional or technical as a consultant what are the differences i can find between on-premises and cloud is very simple in on-premises whatever you want to do you can do it okay you want to develop the new pages, you want to develop the new packages and you want to go for customize the existing pages or existing packages, this can be done. But whereas in cloud, there will be some limitations. Whereas in cloud, there will be some limitations that we have to take care and according to that, we have to follow. According to that, we have to follow. Okay, so here, let me give why the clients are looking for cloud environment instead of uh, instead of on premises is obviously the first point is a cost cost deduction okay so if you want to install the oracle fusion in your server first you have to buy the license from oracle uh, we have to buy the licensed software from oracle it will be around 100 dollars for example let's say 100 dollars is there then you have to buy that uh, license and you have to buy the server, nothing but hardware we have to buy. And we need to hire the DBA also. We have to hire a DBA for that. Either 24 by 7 means we must have three DBAs. Okay. And we should install the application in the server. And we must hire a network administrator who will take care of networking access. And we should maintain and as well as upgrade in case if multiple releases are coming. As we know that uh, uh, every six months or one year, new releases are coming into the market, right? So with the new features and uh, resolving the old application, old version bugs, okay? So the client wanted to upgrade to the latest versions. Again, they have to go for new project almost. And there exactly the project will be started. So before project is starting, these are the investment your client has to do it. Still, your project is not started. You have to buy a license and buy the server, hire the DBA, install the application, configure the network and maintain your uh, application. Then your project will be started. This is the initial investment the client has to do uh, before the project is started. Still client is not clear. The application is going to be suitable for their business or not. Okay. That's a traditional ERP process. This is what actually happening last 20 years in the ERP market. When the cloud has come into the picture, what Oracle is telling, you no need to buy the license of the product. You no need to buy the license. You just subscribe to the application. In the cloud environment, everything will be subscribed. So if we go to the Fusion applications, and when we talk about... Uh, Like we are going to see that uh, like public sites, right? Facebook, they'll ask you to subscribe it or any other business application or any other uh, 
uh, web applications everyone is asking about like uh, subscribe to our uh, channel or subscribe to our uh, website to get keep on updates like that right same way here also what oracle is telling you just subscribe to our cloud and access to the application so subscription cost will be very less for example if you are going to <coughs> sorry invest hundred dollars for a license what oracle says for subscription it will be twenty dollars it means your client is saving around 80 percent of cost 80 percent of cost is going to be saved and no server uh, because oracle is going to maintain your servers uh, you have to just connect to the uh, environment like this so the moment when you subscribe and pay the money to oracle they'll just give the url and uh, credentials like this and you have to log in uh, with that credentials and access the application and then whatever the applications you are subscribed here you will come to know what are the things you are subscribed some client says that i want only financials some client says that i want only uh, hcm in hcm also again around uh, 12 modules we have so out of that only i want uh, three modules or four modules so like that whatever the client is looking for that he can subscribe it okay so that's why it is very less and uh, no server server is maintained by oracle no dba oracle dbas are going to work 24 by 7 uh, for our support and no need to install the application is already ready if you pay the money today within 24 hours oracle will give you the credentials and you can start work with the application okay and no network admin if you have an internet connection so straight away you can connect to the application and start working with the transactions and uh, no maintenance and upgrade charges as i told uh, if you are working a release 11 and you want to migrate to release 12 maximum 10 days if you want to migrate from one instance to another instance it takes maximum two to three days and if you want to upgrade from one version to another version maximum it takes uh, uh, 10 days not more than that okay so if we look at here before the project start how much investment your client is doing very less very less amount is going to invest if we look at here how much time and money is going to invest in the on-premises environment so there the things has happened and the people are looking for a cloud environment if we look at here oracle website oracle has completely moved into the cloud environment every tool every application every services they have moved into the client environment uh, sorry cloud environment now in fact oracle is going to provide you the free cloud trial so it's better to spend at least uh, one or two hours couple of hours to spend on this what exactly the oracle is trying to do now and how they are moving into the cloud environment how they are going to give the options to events for small enterprises also let's say you got a project and you want to build that project in uh, it, uh, adf application so adf is a very costly product so you it's very difficult to buy the license right so what oracle says as you are a developer okay as you are a developer you can connect to my cloud and you go for develop your application right you go for develop your application and you can show it to your client okay and if your client is okay then pay the money to our cloud and uh, download the application if your client is not okay let's leave it no issue so as a developer you don't need to worry about i don't have a licensed product uh, to build an application or to build in some concept proof of concept that no need to worry everything oracle is going to provide okay so this this oracle is going very aggressively in the cloud cloud point of view it is okay so here that's the part like where the clients are looking for cloud for example the client is required 30 lakhs of amount to buy a server so what oracle says you just pay 20000 per month and use my cloud and uh, maintain my cloud around four to five months or six months after that if you feel that okay my application is success my project is success then you buy a server and migrate from my cloud to on-premises no problem and anytime you can again migrate from on-premises to cloud that's called we call it as a hybrid cloud so in a hybrid cloud what option you have you can migrate from 
on premises to server and server to on premises you have both the options right you have both the options over here okay. so this is uh, where the people are interested nowadays cloud environment so if you install your fission application software in your server so we call it as a fission applications on premises if you are installing if you are going with cloud in the cloud no question of installation oracle will be doing oracle has done everything already okay so there you are just going with uh, uh, you are just going with directly working you are just directly uh, interacting with the application and start working with that right so there uh, we call it as a fission cloud so in the job description also sometimes they'll say we are looking for cloud fission cloud developer or something like so it's a, it's a cloud environment yes okay so this is advantage of the cloud this is the advantage of the cloud now i hope everyone is clear about cloud and on premises and why the clients are looking for an cloud environment nowadays and why they are looking for cloud environment uh, uh, we'll see that uh, uh, in case if something happens oracle is going to recover uh, recover the data within hours within hours they are going to recover and everything they are going to give the support when it comes to the cloud who is the masters in the cloud nowadays nowadays who is the masters in the cloud amazon and then microsoft because these two people are there in the cloud environment okay cloud environment right from 2012 around 2011 we can say right these two people are the leaders in the cloud so cloud is nothing but another mission or another system let's say i got a project today i want to buy a high end server which takes around 20 to 30 lakhs so what i'll do is instead of investing that money i can pay this amount to the amazon or microsoft i can utilize their uh, servers okay and i can complete my project okay if something goes wrong don't worry i don't need to worry about only this much of money i'm going to lose it okay if everything is going fine every month i'm going to pay or yearly i'll pay the money to the cloud and go for utilize the applications so that's what cloud another system okay so amazon is the number one in the cloud microsoft is the number two oracle has just entered recently in 2016 in 2016 last year exactly uh one year back last february what oracle has done is there are around four five companies in the market in the cloud environment in the third place netsuit like this there are around four five companies cloud companies what oracle has done is they acquired all these kathri four companies oracle has acquired all these companies and uh, they just entered into the market uh, in 2016 now they are the third largest software cloud applications uh, compared to amazon is the first place microsoft is the second place and oracle is the third place third place in the cloud so this oracle is just one year just entered in the last year because they wanted to make everything as in cloud as i told okay so you can go through this website for at least it's it's very good and interesting and in fact uh, you will come to know what what the it industry how it is going on like now we are going to see there are many layoffs and it industry how this going on and what are the new technologies are going to come and this is required obviously this uh, latest technologies are required otherwise the clients cannot maintain their data or process they cannot maintain okay so this is all mandatory for the client obviously uh, as a developer i also have to upgrade my skills okay fine so when we go for cloud environment what are the different environments we have here okay so whenever client says i want to have a fusion applications software when i want to have a fusion applications software okay so there are two options to the client one they can go for cloud environment two they can go for on premises okay in cloud also again there are two options for the client so two options we have for the client in the cloud what are the two options one is saas model another one is pass model uh, saas model is nothing but a software as a service okay 
software as a service pass model is a platform as a service platform as a service in saas model uh, this is saas model what we are going to use is a saas model right now this is a saas model so in the saas model what happened a uh, no dba oracle dbas are going to take care of entire 24 by 7 support okay and no technical role uh, we don't find any technical jobs in the saas model very simple very simple technical jobs maybe if there are uh, 100 jobs are there in fusion applications maybe 10 jobs are required for technical uh, 80 to 90% it's going to be it's going to be functional okay and functional role is there obviously functional role is required so when the client is subscribed to the application as a functional consultant i have to just implement fusion applications to the client and so that client can start working with the application and enter their business transactions data okay okay that's that can be done it okay so a technical consultant is very simple like personalizations and simple ba reports built as that okay then when we talk about cloud pass model platform as a service Uh, platform as a service when we go for as platform as a service okay if we look at here dba services are given by oracle oracle is going to take care of the complete dba activities and here is option technical role is there and functional what is the difference between saas model and pass model is very simple saas model means uh, same server is shared by the multiple clients multiple clients are going to multiple clients are going to work with the saas model multiple clients are going to work with saas model platform as a service is nothing but it is an individual server it's almost like on premises but only the control will be on dba the dba controls will with uh, oracle oracle is going to take care of uh, complete uh, db activities so uh, uh, ours is like technical we can build whatever we want uh, uh, as just now satya has asked me regarding technical so if client is going for cloud pass model whatever the technical role you have done in ebs whatever the technical role you have done in ebs like reports uh, forms uh, interfaces uh, data extractions this everything comes here here also is there but here as per oracle you have to follow there is nothing you will implement your own uh, options or your own logic whatever the logic things oracle has given that we have to follow it that we have to follow okay and then here cloud pass model is nothing but individual server is allocated to the client then client can go ahead with whatever they want to do Uh, with the applications development customization enhancement everything can be done okay in the pass model okay so here we will see the full fledged technical role and on premises is like again traditional erp uh, what we are doing it last 20 years uh, in uh, erp application uh, same thing will be uh, continued uh, same thing will be continued here but it's an a new erp but it is a new erp in the on premises okay so here db also our db are going to involve here okay and then technical and role so out of three roles if client is looking for cloud saas model there will be only one person who will take care of functional role and uh, technical is very less sometimes they will ask functional person has to take care of functional technical activities when we go for cloud pass model definitely there will be a technical role and on premises definitely there will be a dba role also dba technical and functional but now 90% of the clients are going for cloud saas model it means it is mandatory to learn a functional in fusion applications and you should be a technical also as in the competition in the market right now that's why i written in the starting of that we must be uh, both technical as well as functional when i say technical 
uh, SQL. SQL must be clear so that we can build a queries and BI reports can be done. And if you want to be a only functional consultant, you can be a functional, purely functional. That is option. But purely technical is difficult in fusion applications. If you say I am a fusion technical consultant, then what are the areas you will be working when I talk about fusion technical? Data loading, data extractions, and BA reports, ODBA reports, right? And that's it. Not more than that. So this, this job is very less, less work. So that's a reason now everybody is going to learn the functional and as well as the technical. That's I think now Satya is clear what he has asked the doubt. So as a EBS consultant, uh, we must learn both the things. So it is mandatory. Okay. Unless if client is going for on-premises, this is very expensive for the client on-premises environment. Uh, still no client. Yes, tell me. Yeah, have a question here. In the cloud itself, we have three types of, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, options here that that you are uh, uh, telling, right? So one is SaaS and PaaS and the last one is on-premises. No, no. This is not in the cloud. This is separate. Cloud is different. On-premises is different. Within the cloud, we have two, SaaS and PaaS model. So is it mandatory to learn the technical because we are completely core uh, uh, module side we are working as of now and we don't have any technical skills and everything. Yes. So we are working with just like normal HR practices like the recruitment yes. and normal HR operations on a day to day basis. Yes. Is it mandatory to go for technical and is it functional itself is enough for like our guys? Yeah, for functional consultant, there won't be any problem. You can be a purely functional consultant. That's why I have written here functional role, always it is there. If any client is oh. going to implement any environment, now I have written here three environment, cloud SaaS model, cloud PaaS model, and on-premises. So functional role definitely will be there. And uh, when it comes to the technical also, for example, I'm a purely functional consultant. How can I build one report as I don't have any idea about SQL? How can I write a query as I am not a technical guy? Now here, what Oracle has done, uh, they have designed uh, see built-in reports. So there is nothing uh, you need to uh, build uh, any uh, queries. Everything is available in uh, Fusion. You have to just uh, uh, drag and drop options. It will work. Okay. So as a okay. functional consultant also, for example, you want to load a data. You don't need to write a code for data loading. Oracle has given some tools for us. So we can use that tools loading the data. Very complex things, the technical person comes into the picture. So maximum uh, okay. simple, simple things can be loaded. For example, I have 1000 employees and this 1000 employees data is there in another system or in Excel sheets. I want to load it. I want to load into Fusion. Uh, there is a existing facility which you can just uh, uh, simply four or five lines of standard coding and go for load the data. Okay. So okay. Uh, okay. They are very less. It is. Uh, for the question from the technical point of view, for example, a person who is having technical experience, let's say Oracle uh, applications, they are working as a technical last five years or six years. Okay, so it, it's mandatory okay. that they must learn a functional. It's a difficult to survive only with the technical role uh, in fusion of Okay. So there, there will be a jobs. I'm not saying that there is no question of jobs for technical consultant, but the percentage of this will be less. Okay. So uh, as a function, as a technical developer, like uh, last six years, I'm a technical developer. How can I uh, become as a functional now is nothing, but it's mandatory. It's now the things has came like that. Because uh, earlier, if you want to build a report, we used to develop a report. We used to go for uh, develop a report right from the scratch. But what Oracle has done, or Oracle, not only Oracle, every company, they have done it, built it. Uh, already reports and templates, everything is available. Just you have to make some modifications, drag and drop, and your report is ready within hours. Earlier, we used to take five, six days. Now it's happening within five, seven hours. You are able to build a report and uh, show it to the client.
okay so that's a reason technical role uh, like it's coming down like uh, very less very limited very limited area but uh, as a technical person it is mandatory yes we have to change our mind and learn the functional also okay yes any any other people any doubts here please let me know please enter your uh, email id and uh, phone number in the chat window so that we will share this video okay okay sir uh, what are the major functional responsibilities of the yes satya it's uh, i think this is satya major functional yeah. means like uh, as i told uh, like that's what our next topic and fission applications there are four roles are there fission financials fission hcm fission supply chain management fission crm customer relationship management okay so out of four fission hcm has got very good success in the market right now it doesn't mean that financials has not got success that also is fine supply chain management also is still going on and uh, crm also is okay okay fine so but hcm has got very good success uh, because there is a very good competitor in the market for oracle called workday very good competitor in the us like uh, maximum market they have occupied earlier okay workday is a very good competitor for oracle in or uh, in a hcm point of view that's why what oracle has done oracle is a leader in uh, financials already and uh, they wanted to be a leader in a hcm otherwise they cannot survive that's a reason they given maximum effort on the hcm point of view hcm domain they built around 11 modules 11 modules they have built and developed tested and released into the market successfully 100% success still they are going for uh, some changes in financials and supply but hcm no need everything has stabilized the product okay so last one year if we compare with the workday oracle is almost equal not the leading i cannot say leading because workday is very strong very strong they are in the market last 4 5 years they grasped the market like anything but now oracle is equal they are at least equal within one year so last year only oracle season has got a success from the clients okay uh, they got a success from the client now they are okay Uh, they are equal to the very good they are giving a very good competition for uh, work day hcm okay so now here we are talking about fusion hcm in fusion hcm there will be a, uh, basically around 10 to 11 uh, modules 10 to 11 modules are there okay so global hr payroll options management time and labor talent management like this okay so there are mainly that so when we talk about here we can say hcm is a mainly two parts we can divide one is fusion hcm another one is advanced hcm fusion hcm means we have to learn a global hr payroll options management talent management talent management has got this five module sub modules that's uh, that's a part of talent management okay so we can go for learning and these are the three modules total four modules these are basic we will find advanced in hcm like time and labor compensation and benefits when i say advanced very few clients are going to implement this models time and labor and compensation and benefits not every client not every client very few clients okay so if you say i want to learn the compensation and benefits right directly it's it's not possible you must to have a knowledge on global hr you must in knowledge on payroll model and then only you can learn the compensation and benefits okay when you pay the salary then only you will come to know how you are giving the benefits to your client your employees right so that's uh, ours is two parts so global hr payroll options management talent management so this is the course we have to complete first and once you get a success in this area and once you enter into the market and work for some time around 6 months or 1 year then you can go for learn the second advanced as a time and labor compensation and benefits if required not mandatory not mandatory this three modules okay so we are going to give the training all the modules all seven modules we are comfortable as rtl technologies uh, we are uh, uh, we are going to provide all the uh, complete hcm modules 
uh, I am taking care of four modules, global HR, payroll options, management and talent. My colleague will take care of time and labor and compensation and benefits. I am not going to take care of this. Okay. Uh, but this is not suggestible in the initial stage. In the initial stage for... Uh, uh, yes, uh, somebody is not on mute. Android blue. Hello. Yes, tell me. Uh, is it a part of our curriculum, even uh, time and labor compensation and benefits? No, no that's, okay. that's so no. at this point of time. At this point of time, we are going for only four modules: global HR, payroll, options management, along with the talent management. Yes, yes. yes. Also, uh, the remaining things will be dealt, dealt with by someone else. Yes, that is, a, that is separate course. Uh, okay, okay. That is separate course, but uh, that's not required for an initial entry stage. Uh, initially, if we okay. want to enter into the market, these four modules are enough. And uh, once we enter into the market and working, then we can go for upgrade ourselves. Next level. No problem. No problem. So that uh, comes as a functional. And uh, technical parts, these are the topics we are going to discuss. We'll talk about uh, data loading. And we'll talk about uh, reports. And then we talk about personalizations and extractions these all are there won't be any coding any of this area maybe simple sql select statements required okay not more than that we don't write any complex uh, procedure or function or packages that's required so that's what we are going to talk about here okay. so any doubts here please let me know fine so it's it's uh, yes samir tell me you got some doubt. Yeah. Uh, how do I uh, learn self service and tell you in this uh, course? Uh, or is it in advanced level? Samir, tell you is basically required. Uh, uh, in case self service, it comes here only. Uh, self service comes uh, here only. In, in the in the talent management, there is a concept called my portal. In the my portrait, you will get self service HR, manager HR, everything will be covered. But uh, Talio is a separate tool. Talio is a separate tool. Uh, that's uh, license is very difficult. I mean, software is very difficult for us to get. But I can give you the overall idea of the Talio theoretically. It's a very simple tool, maximum uh, four or five hours, not more than uh, that required. So, in case, meanwhile, if we get an option, we can show that out. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks. Yes, yes, yes. As a functional consultant, what we do majorly actually is functional role like the setup part. Yes, yes. So, for example, one client has came to, let's say, uh, heritage, heritage company is there. It's one of the enterprise and they have around 40 to 50 branches. Now, what heritage company is asking, they have around 4,000 employees. Okay. I'm talking about purely HCM. Okay. I'm talking about HCM. So Heritage has got 5,000 employees and now they wanted to maintain all these 5,000 employees data with their managers and their approvals and who are working for which department, which branch, which position, which grade and what is their salary, what about their leaves, how many leaves they are utilized. Leaves are different from uh, uh, one employee to another employee, one location to another location, one position to another position. In case if employee is going to take more leaves, then what is the rate you are deducting? How you are paying the salaries to the employee? In every pay slip, there will be a different elements like basic uh, HRA, uh, traveling allowance, uh, bonus, and uh, other uh, additional timing work. Like uh, this, all things will be included in payroll. And uh, for every employee, you are going to set a goals. So this all are you are going to configure it. We are not going to set any goal to the employee. I will configure the application and I will intimate to heritage employee manager. You please set the goal like this so that they'll be keep on setting the goals. Weekly goals will be there. Monthly goals or quarterly goals like that. Okay. And you can, you can identify your, uh, you can identify your uh, employee performance like this. Okay. Performance appraisals. So that, that's a way we are going to configure the application to the client. Okay. Then client will go for use it. Okay. For example, if you, if you look at this uh, application, now everything I can access. I, I logged with some username and password, everything I can access. 
but uh, there are employees they should access only their self information they should not access their team information we need to configure it and uh, they should not do any setups and we need to now this employee is there, can is there the, assigned privileges score uh, assigned privileges uh, will be uh, uh, separate thing in this yes that's called uh, security profiles we need to configure yes. the security yes definitely it's a part of functional consulting we need oh, to define okay. the security and we have to maintain like the moment when user log in what data he can access what uh, tasks he can access okay uh, i don't want to set uh, this user to create a goals he has to just check his goals he should not create any goals this is all setups we are going to configure as a functional consultant okay so if we have uh, hr like here we'll configure the enterprise structure we'll ask the heritage company how many branches you have okay how many how many divisions you have how many jobs positions grades and departments and we will uh, will tell them that how to hire employees uh, transfers global transfer terminations username password their ledgers this is what actually our functional job samir Hello. Yes, tell me. Is it monitored? Is it mo is it monitored for uh, ADF to learn on fusion? Yes, Shubhani, this is uh, mandatory when you are in this area. Okay. If client is going for on-premises environment or pass environment, then we have to develop the new pages. For example, when I am going to hire an employee, uh, fusion is hundred percent ADF. fusion applications okay. is developed this application is developed front end 100% adf j developer 100% okay. by using the adf only but in the cloud what happened when you are working in cloud saas model oracle will not allow you to develop a new page okay you can personalize you can personalize the page but you cannot develop the new pages whatever the pages oracle has given that we have to follow it but if they are going for cloud pass model pass model or on premises then definitely uh, there is a option to develop the new pages we can develop and customize in that scenario adf comes into the picture adf comes into the uh, picture where we will develop and customize and personalize it and here in the cloud saas model uh, also oracle has given something called here phase integration phase integration they have provided but it's not uh, compatible means it's not perfect uh, application composer and page integration by using this two you can build a simple page but there are some issues while migrating from one instance to another instance there is a problem we are facing it in the saas model okay so that's okay the existing forms are fine the the best example for uh, oracle fusion is airtel airtel india has implemented oracle fusion hcm for their employees it's 19500 employees they have in india to maintain this 19500 employees data they are using cloud saas model 100% it is success they are in go live and from march 2017 from march 2017 uh, airtel is using fusion hcm it's a it's a live right now the application is live okay So everybody is going to work with the application now it's a very good success for a client uh, india client and uh, oracle is a very good uh, success one big company who are having some more than 10000 employees data they are going to maintain so that's why people are okay with the saas model uh, some companies like uh, huge like cisco company or ge client or some big big clients uh, they wanted to go for uh, modifications huge uh, changes in the business application they'll go for pass model or they'll go for on premises there we will get an option okay if we look at entire uh, fusion applications everything is uh, based on the adf this everything is the adf okay any other doubts okay so i hope everything is clear fine uh, fine guys so we'll we'll see you tomorrow on the same meeting id uh, same time 7 am ist uh, there is a classroom also 
uh, today it's due to rain uh, we are not able to conduct the classroom i'm taking the sessions from my home so tomorrow onwards there is a classroom session as well as online so you can go ahead with both options uh, thank you uh, let's see you tomorrow on the same 7 am i still will have a second uh, class okay thank you thank you thank you thank you